it's important to note this that the gift of prophecy is not the same as being having the ministry gift or being called as a prophet okay so what that means is that for example the fact that i prophesied or the holy spirit used me to prophesy to someone does not all of a sudden mean that the holy spirit has called me to become a prophet so i just want to get that out of the way so that you understand moving on defining the gift of prophecy take note of this the gift of prophecy is the divine ability to speak god's mind this is the key word here to speak God's mind by the power of the Holy Spirit if you stop here you've actually done so well in defining the gift of prophecy it's about speaking God's mind but not by my own power or opinion and whatever else influence else the influence has to be the power of the Holy Spirit okay what does it do revealing the past present and the future event bringing direction edification and hope to the church take note of that separation the direction edification and hope to the church but to the world it is correction and repentance it brings to the world this is very important i may not have time to i'm not going to explain it because i will explain some of this thing as we go along the line along the way in this message so the gift of prophecy brings is a divine ability the holy spirit just gives you that ability at a certain period of time when you need it when someone needs it when the church needs it or whoever even someone in the world an unbeliever needs it it gives you that ability to speak for god speak the mind of god holy spirit inspires you you speak the mind of god it could reveal past it could reveal present event or a future event but what you will see is that it will bring hope edification direction to the, if he's a believer someone who's already with god who's already walking with god but someone who's not with god most times he will be bringing correction he will be just oh my goodness what is this and then he'll lead them to repentance that's why the gift of prophecy is a powerful gift the word of prophecy comes in different forms most times people quickly think word of prophecy what prophecy simply means foretelling which is part, that's part of it which means prediction you know when you predict i see i see this will happen in you know in the future in the future most things most people think straight away that's what prophecy is about or that's the only form of prophecy no prophecy comes in lots of forms let me break down and many other that i even don't i didn't list here number one prophecy can be prediction comes in a prediction form but it also can come in a exhortation form okay can be just an exhortation just something you're saying to lift up the spirit of people it comes in preaching and teaching so i could be prophesying to you right now and i will explain to you what would qualify what i'm doing to be prophecy only thing that will qualify what i'm doing right now to be prophecy if is is it the holy spirit that is empowering me the wisdom to say what i'm saying if it is the holy spirit empowering me with wisdom to say what i'm saying to you right now and what i'm saying to you is the mind of god then actually what you're receiving is the word of prophecy amen now it also comes in the form of word of knowledge word of wisdom some of what we have already taught before what it means is that prophecy covers a whole lot more than the specific maybe just word of wisdom or just word of knowledge it covers interpretation of tongues so most times interpretation of tongues empowered by the holy spirit can also be prophecy so what that means is what i'm trying to say here is prophecy covers the almost all the revelatory gifts so i just only put the scripture just to show you even in the amplified version he explains prophecy that way that is actually inspired teaching inspired preaching and all of these other things i mentioned to us earlier so prophecy comes in what different forms amen so don't just think it's only foretelling or prediction it's a whole lot more now 
is it does that mean every time someone talks about Jesus they are prophesying this is a good question here the reason I'm I'm asking this question is because there is there can also be a misunderstanding of the book of Revelation chapter 19 verse 10 there's a quotation there and I'm going to read that quotation but I'm going to read it to understand it today because sometimes we have a school there is that other school of thought that anytime you're speaking about Jesus you're prophesying that's not exactly what the scripture was explaining in the book of Revelation okay let's look at that then I fell down at the feet to worship him but he said no focus on what I highlighted in red no do not don't worship me I am a servant of God like you. So he's trying to say, I'm not God. I'm just a servant like you. Just like you and your brothers and the sisters who testify about their faith in Jesus. Only worship God. So let's just read the ones, read the letters in red. He says, do not worship me. I'm a servant like, I'm a servant of God. Only worship God. The four. Why should you only worship God? For the essence of prophecy is to give clear witness of Jesus. Another translation will say the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. What the angel is saying here is that all I came to do is to give you the testimony of Jesus. Okay, I'm only here to reveal in you, to you, John, what Jesus wants you to do. I'm not God. Don't worship me. Don't worship me. I'm only here to reveal to you what God wants to do because the whole reason I'm here is to talk about Jesus. For the spirit of prophecy or the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. That's what he's saying. It doesn't mean that anytime someone stands up and say, um, Jesus this, Jesus that, Jesus this and Jesus that, they are prophesying. No. It doesn't mean that. So why am I saying this? The reason I'm saying this is because true prophecy is only by the power of the Holy Spirit. So it's not just whatever someone says. Why would I say that? Does it mean that someone can say or talk about Jesus without necessarily being empowered by the Holy Spirit? Yeah, because Jesus talks about to say there are some people who will come on the last day and say, <laughs> we cast out demon in your name. We actually did miracles in your name. And he'll say, I do not know you. In other words, I did not send you. Which means you actually don't know me. But they are using his name. So the fact that someone stands on a pulpit or anyone, including me, including me, so I'm not condemning anyone, including myself, doesn't mean that every time I stand up straight away talking, I am giving the word of prophecy. No, unless I yield myself to the Holy Spirit. And that is the key statement here. Like I did earlier, yield yourself, yield your spirit. Say, God, this pulpit is yours. We say in favor house, we pray over our pulpit. Not just the physical thing. What we mean is that the opportunity to speak the word of God. We pray for whoever, Kenne, myself, Cheesy, Simon, Elaine, whoever is speaking in favor house. We pray for them that God will use them. They will be an oracle of God. Just like in the Old Testament, the prophets are not supposed to speak except God is the one speaking. That way, prophecy then becomes the mind of God empowered by the Holy Spirit. So we should not just prophesy because we want to, but rather we should only prophesy as the Holy Spirit gives us utterance. This is very important statement. Take pictures, write them down so that you yourself can also teach others. Very, very important. Amen.